Today we're test driving the all new Porsche Cayenne Coupe E-Hybrid and we're going to do a battery economy test to see how well it performs. As you can see right now, I have a full charge and on this full charge, my battery range is expected to be 52 kilometers. On the left side, right below my odometer, you'll notice that we have our trip meter, which reads zero. It's also worth noting that I don't have a full tank of fuel. I won't be needing it because I'll be doing this test purely on the battery. In this test, we're going to see how far we go on a full charge. So let's get this test started. just completed our battery economy test and on a full charge we were able to drive 50 kilometers or 31 miles. We use very little regenerative braking because when we're driving at high speeds of 80 to 100 kilometers an hour through roads that don't have a lot of stop signs or traffic lights you're not braking as much. As a result you're not using regenerative braking to drive battery power back into the engine. We just spent the week driving the Cayenne Coupe e-hybrid and we have some numbers here we'd like to share with you. As you saw, we drove a total of 50 kilometers on just the battery. I should also mention that the battery capacity of the Cayenne Coupe is 17.9 kilowatt hours. My driving conditions have been pretty basic. I haven't had the air conditioning or the heating on, but I have had the sound system on the whole time. Also worth noting is we spent about 40% of our driving in the city and 60% on the highway. Just to give you an idea of how we got the numbers that we did. The cost of electricity in my city is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. As you saw, our total real-world driving range on a full charge is 50 kilometers. Now let's calculate our cost of a full charge. We'll do that by taking the 17.9 kilowatt hours of battery capacity and multiplying that by our local hydro rate of 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So 17.9 kilowatt hours multiplied by 12 cents per kilowatt hour gives us $2.15. That means a full charge in the Porsche Cayenne Coupe costs us $2.15. Now let's calculate our distance per kilowatt hour. We'll do that by taking the 50 kilometers of driving range and dividing it by 17.9 kilowatt hours. So 50 kilometers divided by 17.9 kilowatt hours gives us 2.8 kilometers per kilowatt hour. That means every kilowatt hour of battery gives us 2.8 kilometers of driving. Now let's calculate our cost per kilometer. We'll do that by taking the 50 kilometers of driving range and dividing it by the $2.15 cost of a full charge. So $2.15 divided by 50 kilometers gives us 0.04 per kilometer. That means every kilometer in the Cayenne Coupe costs us 4 cents. Now let's calculate our cost per mile. We'll do that by taking the 31 miles of driving range and dividing it by $2.15 cost of a full charge. So $2.15 divided by 31 miles gives us 6.9 cents. That means every mile in the Cayenne Coupe costs us 6.9 cents. Sure, the Porsche Cayenne Coupe e-hybrid is a powerful SUV with a performance-oriented engine. But it's great to know that it can also do 50 kilometers of all electric driving, which is perfect for commuting to work and around the city while spending zero dollars on fuel. Now let's do a fuel economy test using the gasoline engine to see what fuel economy we achieve in the city and the highway. These tests will be done in e-hold mode, which saves the electric battery charge. So you'll notice that as I'm driving, my battery range stays the same throughout the test. The vehicle will be primarily powered by the gasoline engine. Now let's do a highway fuel economy test. See what our lowest average fuel economy is on the highway in the Cayenne Coupe e-hybrid. As you'll notice, I've just reset my synth meter, which is my secondary trip meter, which is why it reads zero. We're going to be doing this test over several kilometers and at the end, we'll see what our lowest average fuel economy is driving on the highway. So let's get this test started. We're currently in e-hold mode, which allows me to drive the vehicle without using any of the plug-in charge. That means I'm driving the vehicle purely as a hybrid, without using any of our battery range. The vehicle is driving primarily on the gasoline engine. As a result, the 40 kilometers of battery range that we have left will still be there at the end of our test. This test is ideal to understand what fuel economy you can achieve 
driving the vehicle purely on the gasoline engine without using the battery range. We just did about 10 kilometers of driving on the highway and the lowest average fuel economy we've been able to achieve so far in the Cayenne e-hybrid purely on the gasoline engine is 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Now let's do a city fuel economy test to see what our average fuel economy is in the city in the Cayenne Coupe e-hybrid. As you'll notice, I've just reset my sense meter, which is my secondary trip meter. And we're going to be doing this test over several kilometers. And at the end, we'll see what our lowest average fuel economy is in the city in the Cayenne Coupe e-hybrid. So let's get this test started. It's also worth noting that I'm currently driving in e-hold mode, which preserves the 41 kilometers of battery range that I have on this vehicle and relies primarily on the gasoline engine. Hence, we'll be driving this vehicle purely as a hybrid. This test gives you an idea of how well the vehicle would perform if you were to drive it with a dead battery. We just did about nine kilometers of driving in the city and the lowest average fuel economy we've been able to achieve so far in the city in the Cayenne Coupe e-hybrid is nine liters per 100 kilometers. You'll notice that we still have our 41 kilometers of plug-in battery range left, which means we've been driving the vehicle purely as a hybrid, primarily reliant on the gasoline engine to power the vehicle. What's important to note is when the battery gets depleted, the Cayenne e-hybrid still performs as a hybrid, leveraging the engine and the self-charging battery to deliver better fuel economy than a traditional gasoline-powered vehicle. 